It's time to take you all on a journey back into time. In the latter part of the 18th century, the great-grandfather of this family got an opportunity of a lifetime. His German pharmaceutical business got chosen to deliver medicine to pharmacies all over the country of France. All throughout the 19th and 20th century, they were one of the most recognized pharmacy companies in the country and were regarded as a well-respected family. This all ended not so long ago. The house got left behind and there is not much known about their whereabouts. The people that used to live here were very lively they had many hobbies that we can see all throughout the house. This ranged from painting and music, as well as hunting that they did in the numerous forests that lined the property. I'm now gonna take you with me on a journey throughout the house. And together, by looking through the artifacts, we're gonna figure out what happened to this historical family. This only leaves me with one more question for you. Are you ready for an epic adventure? Hey there, welcome back to the channel of the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie behind the camera as William and we are exploring an incredible German mansion over here in France. A German mansion in France, realize that. This was the mansion of a pharmaceutical family. They had a big company. I just told you the full story of this place. Unfortunately yet, I have no names, which I hope to find inside of this place. But uh, it has so many artifacts inside, you can't miss this video. Let's go in there. Let's head inside of this place and see what there's left behind in here. Okay, all the windows, all the doors are just open. We have to go through here, in here, through here. Okay, you have to watch out with the microphone and everything. And here we come into some sort of a bureau slash living room. Wow. Okay. First off, William, look at this fireplace. Just have a look at it. It's so incredibly huge that it even has two benches to the side where you can sit in. <laughs> can you sit inside of this fireplace and watch the fire? That's something very strange, right? And we have the pig's head over here, the wild pig's head. The hooves here on the wall to the side. Wow. <laughs> and over here we have the desk, probably of the owner of the family. Uh, the owner, or do I say, the dad of the family who run the business. Here he could sit besides the fireplace and uh, yeah, discuss business. He also loved music. We can see these music notes over here. Hold everything at follow through. Wow. Record player in the middle. There's something inside of here. No, it's just broken. Yeah. What's this? <laughs> it doesn't look like a sword. I think it's something to uh, for the fireplace to turn the blocks inside of it. There's so many artifacts here on the floor. We're gonna have a blast in here. But here's the first uh, evidence of their pharmaceutical company. These are flasks that were used. Uh, I'm, I'm not a pharmacist, so I don't know what they were used for, but these were used for the company and uh, yeah, probably not for company, but to display their, what they did in life. We have a little mouse here, I think it is. Or is it a squirrel? I think it's a squirrel. Wow. It's a taxidermy scroll. Damn. A bottle over here. And also these pianos here in the corner. This one is quite decaying. It's quite decaying. Damn. Doesn't play anymore. 
Look at the pieces have all come off. Wow. It's just crazy. What's that? Have a closer look at it. It doesn't look like this building. No, it's somewhere else. I'm not sure where that is. Maybe that's the company. Hmm. <laughs> and this piano, <laughs> there's even nothing left of it. It's just fallen apart and it lays here. But this is true the case, guys. This is this is even in the name of the channel. Bros of DK, this is what we love. Decaying stuff, history that has been passed, nature that takes over again. The music notes here that I read from and I played them on this piano in former times. Damn. Also have a look at the chessboard, uh, chessboard floor over here. It's quite nice and it's cracking up. This building is truly falling apart. Damn. From here, we walk into the dining room. <laughs> okay. There are some artifacts here on the table still left. The last dishes of the people. I'm not sure. Um, I can say with certainty that these things have been left here by the people that probably stayed for a picture or something like it. But you can see uh, a fireplace over here, completely made out of marble, falling apart. It's just cracking up over here. Faces to the side. Oh, I thought there would be pictures inside of here. This looks like something. Platina. Pharmacia. Romeo, this is probably, this is probably from the company. They, they probably made this, the stuff that's inside of here. Wow, <laughs> isn't that cool? And there to the side we have a wall clock. Beautiful abandoned wall clock. I quite like this plate that's underneath here. Whoa, that's heavy. <laughs> oh, damn, that's heavy. I can't turn that. It's completely rusted, but it's made from steel, I guess. Empty. I want to find some dates in here. These are Beethoven music notes, a sonnet. Some books in here. Damn. Lots of music notes in here besides their company they were very artistic you can see it all around the house wow let's go a bit further <laughs> come have a look William come have a look whoa those are a lot of spider webs I have not seen so many spider webs before do you the first like time. This. Not yeah. like this, right? A little bicycle of a child. They had, a, they had like fifth, five children, if I can remember from the story, inside of this place. So this is one of the bicycles that the children used to learn it probably on, to learn to bicycle. To cycle, excuse me. <laughs> Gonna go turn around a little bit. <laughs> and this is some sort of another dining room, but not really that special. But, What's in here? A newspaper. Mm. 1983 it says over here guys. And it costs three and a half francs. Let's see what's in the newspaper in 1983. Oh, I'm ripping it apart. <laughs> Excuse me. I try to be respectful all the time, but uh, here I just ripped it a little bit. Post um, Paris Moscow crise ouverte. Wow, crisis opens. It says over here. Lovely to see such an old newspaper. That doesn't smell anymore. And they had also a fireplace inside of here. Look at this. I think there's one last room here downstairs. 
here to the right oh yeah not uh, oh this was the stairway that you just saw i'm gonna go up there in a second but first the most important part of the house the kitchen where the bellies are filled where the food is made and this is an old school french kitchen but what i like the most about this kitchen is here in the time they used to yeah when they prepared food it would be always on wood and during the years the uh, walls got covered with ashes and it gonna turn black like this so in time the full kitchen turned black it used to have this white color underneath it i also had this beam in here really representing the kitchen making it very sturdy and i love this setup of a kitchen over here an exhauster up there and then just a simple burner there would be a wood burner in here Oh, this is this is a wood burner. Excuse me. Wow. Or coal. Wood or coal burner? Yeah, you, you're right. I think this is a coal burner. This is too small to be a wood burner. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I think it also had the capability of burning on gas. The sound it makes is just. Look over here, all the coals. Oh yes, you were right, William. All the coals are here on the ground. And in this box. They were stored in here, right? Yeah. And this looks like some sort of a frying pan. Oh yeah, they would use it in conjunction with this one and they would fry stuff in here. <laughs> Isn't that great? So we can find stuff like that. We have a, a meat cutting, uh, cutting stump, I would call it, but I really don't know the English word for it. Wow. Looks like a chair. Yeah. It looks like a bar share, right? Yeah. But with a cleaver, you would cut the meat on there. Chaka, chaka, chaka. And over there, there's an old school French sink without running water. They would get water from a well and they would uh, prepare the food there and wash the dishes. There is on the other side of well. Because look, there is something. There's something there? Oh, excuse me, I will come through. I will go to here. Oh yes, there is a little, a little hole here for water, I think. Oh yeah, you were right. And a few dishes are left here of those people that used to live here. And this is an old school drying rack. Wow. Cool stuff in here. Lovely. And just, yeah, the black walls, like I just told you. Something truly French. There are still people we... We met some fans of ours uh, for uh, Babs and uh, Jorich that are watching. It's to you. Uh, they told us the story about the walls that it turns black. And that's a fantastic story because there are still people in France living like this with a setup, a kitchen like this. And uh, they are very old right now. And they just, yeah, they have a very simple life, but they live like this. And now it's time to peek uh, upstairs and to take a look there. Wow. And here you can also see the decay of the home. Okay, it's me now behind the camera. I'm gonna take over here from William. He's gonna make some beautiful pictures over there. And to thank him for film, helping me filming, there's a little link in the description to his Instagram. Go follow him and give him a like because he's amazing. He makes beautiful pictures. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys upstairs, but just have a look at this stairway over here. It's just insane. The whole top floor is crumbling down on top of this stairway. There are even some women's shoes up here. They have been left behind. <laughs> wow. Let's go there. I'm quite excited to see it all. The whole building is cracking over here. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna last for that long anymore. And it's very unfortunate because French Manoir and Manoirs are such beautiful places to explore and they're just falling apart. Oh my gosh. What's this room? This looks like some sort of a, a bathroom or a toilet. Let me just have a look inside of here. What is this? piece of furniture. Huh? This looks like some sort of a bathroom or a toilet, but I really don't know about it. 
I also really like these old school light switches. They are just fantastic to see. You only see them here in France. Oh, spiderwebs all around this place. It's a true time capsule. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Oh my gosh. Look at the bed. This is slate bed, but it's it's on its side. What? <laughs> what happened here? Did the, the building didn't collapse or anything, but it's just on its side right here. I'm not gonna go too far in this room because I'm quite scared about this. Who put it in here? Damn. I'm gonna warn you, this building is just huge. Let's go through all the rooms and show you what's left behind. This slate bed as well is another one of those examples. And with this old school mattress in here, even has a stain on it. <laughs> wow. Fireplace. Let's look at the let's look at the papers over here. Some accountancy up here. Yeah, some accountancy. Gonna turn down a light a little bit because it's quite bright up here. But here you can see some handwritten notes, handwritten French notes from the people that used to live here. They also were German, I heard, but I have not seen any German artifacts, so I don't know. I can't say with certainty that that piece is true. is magnificent oh and here we see another part of their pharmacy of their of their company all these little flasks are in here in the side in the cabinet a bottle of liquor up here wow and then we come here into another bathroom this used to be a children's bedroom you can see the rocking horse here in the middle of the room <laughs> this would be the child would be on here riding around the house there is this little bed as well still made i wonder what happened to these people because i could not find anything on on this building history about the people i only knew that they had a pharmacy company and that's yeah and that they were german and all those things that i told them there. but more about the people and why they left the place is quite uncertain to me see in this cabinet over here completely empty but over here he had a little desk where you could study after school and could read books wow what's this the politics and administration <laughs> that's not something that a child would read i think wow le fleu du soir a little box here it's empty and this is a little broom actually you could clean with place it back all nicely and let's look in these closets over here oh but first let me just show them to you these are fantastic built in designed for the purpose of this house but they are empty and on here, even more artifacts of the pharmacy company. Lots of little bottles, but <laughs> I don't know what's in there, but there's Labro Laboratoire de Biologie. There's a bi biological laboratory of Paris, it says over here. Wow. Here we have a bottle of 90% alcohol. 90% in the fireplace. Also a beautiful mirror above it. Okay, let's go further into the hallway now. <laughs> There's lots of junk inside of this place. It's been thrown around, but I, I don't believe it was by the family. Damn, a bouquet here in the hallway. What's this? Oh, oh, what a 
beautiful bedroom. <laughs> no way. This definitely is one of the most beautiful beds I've ever seen. I just like the design on the bed and how it's made. Don't you agree with me? Wow. The mattresses, the pillows, everything is still on there. The floor is cracking underneath me. I don't know if you can hear this. But I have to be a bit careful walking here. Suitcase. All different books in here. Wow. And there on top of the fireplace is a huge bottle of wine. That's unfortunately empty, otherwise I would have a great night right now. <laughs> oh, some magazines down here. Some old school magazines of people kissing. Look at that. There's all these people are kissing in here. What's this kind of magazine? Oh wow. This truly is old school. Lovely to see stuff like that. It's also empty. Okay. And the wallpaper as well. No way. Such beautiful design. Well, let's go further. Lots and lots of papers here on the floor. All around the place. You see that there's another bedroom in here. This one is completely, completely overthrown. All this stuff in here. Damn. This used to be such a nice bedroom actually. I'm just walking on piles and piles of, of clothes, as you can see. Oh my gosh. All these little pharmacy bottles. Sulfuric ether. Ether. Oh, look at this letter. It's made with, with these stamps. Whoa. This is incredible. Look at this, how it's made. It's like a Harry Potter movie. <laughs> a bottle of alcohol. Picture of this woman. Damn. These closets have been completely emptied out. I believe that would be full of bottles and full of papers and everything. That just has all been thrown on the ground. Little flasks of the pharmacy company. And these were to make shoes, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but these were to make shoes. Yes. They were the size of the owner of this place and he would take them back to the shoemaker and he would make a new pair for him with his own specifications. Oh my gosh, this looks quite I'm not gonna walk in here, but I'm gonna give you a quick overview because this whole section is collapsing. As you can see for yourself, I believe. Damn. Oh, <laughs> look at the roots of this tree. They're just running inside of this place. Oh my gosh. I believe, oh, wait one second before we go up. Oh, this, this used to be an umbrella. I was looking like, is this a, a sailing ship or something like it? But it used to be an umbrella. Wow. And now we're gonna take a look up here at the top floor of the place. Also a very nicely twisting stairway leading us up to this top floor. Lots of cobwebs again, where we come up here. Damn. Not a lot of people have been inside of this place since it got abandoned. This looks more like a place that got abandoned in the 1980s, 1970s, because there is no television or anything modern inside of this place. Look at the bedroom that I'm entering into. <laughs> This place is so, so, so incredibly old school and decaying. I just love this. Oh, the paint, the canvas blocks. Oh, 
I'm gonna put this down a little bit, excuse me. But in here, I have more books. Turn on the light, because <laughs> you guys can't see anything. Stupid Leslie. <laughs> All these books in here. It's actually quite a nice room. A two liter jug. I think for wine or something like it. Oh no, I think this one would be hung outside on the wall and it would be to measure how many rain was fallen, has fallen during a day or a night or a period of time. They had a fireplace in each and every room of the house, as you can see, because there is no central heating in this place. And even here in the attic, this very small room in the attic where probably a child slept, they had a fireplace. An old school razor blade. A jack on top of... Oh, look at this! This is some sort of a test for a child. And it has been corrected by a teacher. Look at that. You have to make some questions and everything in here. Wow. This truly is a magnificent building. A candle holder. And then you have the bed over here. And there's some sort of a sheep wool in here. As you can see, this is sheep wool. It's to fight. Some... I don't know what the game is called that they would play with this. But wow. This is some sort of a helmet for playing a game, but I don't know which, which game. Okay. Let's go back to the hallway. <laughs> it's such an old school hallway. They put a plank here to walk on the other explorers. So you could easily go to the other rooms and not have to trample over all those artifacts that are left in here. Oh, ho, ho. this is a completely blue room. And in here are, oh, as well, so many artifacts. Okay, let's, let's go through them, let's go through them. I'm looking at this box that you see over here. See this box? Looks, at first glance, it looks like some sort of a camera, an old school camera. But I would, I think it's, it's some sort of a, a box, a viewing box. Children could look in here and it would be some sort of a, an art installation made, <laughs> sorry how I call it, but some sort of an art installation made inside of here. So it would give a nice view when you look through this hole. A viewing box, we call it in Dutch. Not a piece of the pharmaceutical company. A mixture. Usage extern, external usage. Hmm. A lever or a pulley. Pull up stuff. Wow. What a magnificent place. This to me, this to me is true exploring. We find houses that have no sign of modernity inside of it. It's all from the history, all from the 1900s, no TV, no television, no phones, nothing. Just old school antiques and artifacts where I can look at and I, go, I can figure out a story and how these people use them. That's what I love about exploring and that's why I even started this YouTube channel. And that's my mission to explore the whole world. And also in this room they had another slate bed. A beautiful slate bed. design of a door right could open it up from the behind here like that I, I believe there's one last room here I just saw it let's have a look <gasps> oh my gosh what's that there's an animal in here it's sleepy I, I think I need to say fewer discretion advised I don't know, it's not life. Oh my gosh, it's a dog. It's a taxidermy dog. Inside of this room. Just 
have a look at this little boy. Oh my gosh. Excuse me if he can't handle this, but I have to document it. Just have a look away for a second. And I, my respect to this dog. My deepest respect. Damn, there's probably the dog of the people that lived here. And they decided they didn't want to get rid of it or give it a funeral or something like it. And they just, yeah, <laughs> taxidermied it, I would say. Let's go through this room. We have a jacket of somebody here. Look at the knobs. Wow. And then a slate bed again, another one. All around this house are such beautiful oak slate beds. I just truly love them. A shower cap, an old school shower cap of probably a lady. Wow. And this, this double mattresses is something also very typical for France. And people were also very small. If I lay in this bed, I would hit both edges of it. It's only like one meter 60. I'm going to put it down here in feet. I believe it's like five feet 10 or something like that. <sighs> Crazy. And these pillows are also quite nice. Wow. And this is a chamber pot. Here you can do your duty at night in. <laughs> oh, we don't have these anymore nowadays. Nowadays you have a toilet in every single flight of stairs. Bye bye dog. Okay, I'm back outside right now and I want to have to be careful with the neighbors but I want to take a peek at the house itself from the outside. You can see this was the gate that I could drive into. I think I'm gonna go a little bit further. Wow, isn't that just great? A beautiful gate and then this house as well. It's just so magnificent. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Beautiful front door. Wow. You can see how happy I am right now. To have found a place like this. I've been now on a road trip in France for around one full week. And we have did so many abandoned places. Beautiful manoirs, beautiful castles, everything. But this place, for me, is above all of it. Not because it's incredibly beautiful, but because there are so many historical artifacts left behind. If you like this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this content. And uh, yeah, if you have the money to spare and want to support me in doing what I do, and going around the world to film these places, there will be a link in the description for Patreon. And if you support me there, you'll get a mouth mask from me, a completely designed mouth mask from Bros of DK. So uh, head over there, give us a little bit of support. Bye bye guys, I love you very, very much, and I will see you next week, as always. Love you, bye. <laughs>